All right, so we got another we got another side questy episode here. We're gonna do a few more troubles that we have left over. We're gonna go to Glitzville and we're gonna check out that Prince Mush fight, which is brand new to me. And um, I don't know how many star pieces did it say I have. I still have fourteen. Oh, bugger. Well, actually, we we should also go do the ch we should all go check out chapter five. Maybe I can find that last star piece that I missed in Pirates Grotto. I think I might have an idea where it is. Oh, yeah, I haven't come in here yet. Oh! We got Chapter 4 and Chapter 5 open. Ooh. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. Well, since I'm here, let's go to Chapter 4 first and talk to Eve. We can get that done right now. Ooh! So this is where the Chapter 4 pipe leads. Pretty cool. Alright, so I think Eve is right in this house, so it should be easy to do this one. Oh, Mario, you accepted my trouble request. Well, it's hard to talk about in front of the children. Can we step outside? I need you to help me meet someone. His name is Podley, my former love. We had the same dream, to be stars of the musical stage. We shared our dreams and we shared a wonderful love for a time. In that cramped little apartment, we held together, poor but happy. When I finally got up in a broadstream play as the leading lady, Podley left me. He left a quickly scrawled note that said only this, My dear, I would only dim your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Podley, why? My dream was always to be with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left the production while I was in rehearsal. I forgot about Podley and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in its quiet comforts. And now I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is so complete now, I had forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Podley was running a Chocola Cola shop in Rogueport. Could you please tell him that I would like to see him again? Tell him that Pure Hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. Okay. Yes, Pure Hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Podley and ask how he feels about me. Please, Mario. Okay, well, we'll get to that eventually. We need to go do Chapter 5 as well. And it's a good thing chapter five is right here, you know? I have to kill all key. Yes, I know. Oh, it doesn't take you it doesn't take you to the same place anymore. Interesting. They they swapped I, I didn't expect them to change the location of the pipe. Alright, I think it's time to get Miss Mouse out. Is there anything here? Nope, okay. I stopped singing about that. Anything in this screen, Miss Mouse? Okay. So yeah, when you when you come back to Kill Hall Key, some of the fuzzies disappear. Oh. Is that Frankie and Francesca in the water? Let's chat with them. That's Francesca the Pianta. She and Frankie liked it here, so they decided to stay. We gotta get them back as quickly as we can. That's Francesca guy, Frankie. He decided to stay here and live with Francesca. But I know he's really worried about Don Pianta. Oh hey, it's Mario. How you been there, pal? We do something for ya? Uh -huh. What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh no. In a time like this. Oh? You see, I, I dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring and now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love, 
We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me a hundred times. A hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Oh, fine, you dizzy dame. Oh boy. Oh no, here we go. This, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> oh boy, this is getting very boring. Mario's fucking sleeping. Even he's getting sick of it. <laughs> 73 times. Is his voice getting like deeper? <gasps> oh, yeah, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away, should you say? I wonder if these two are gonna be okay. Look, Mario, I think maybe we should just help them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank God this spring is still here to make this slightly more manageable. Boing boing. Oh no, I fell. Four. Alright, now I'm running away. Screw this. You know, this would be a good time to put on the, uh, the nostalgic tunes. This spring just barely doesn't go high enough. It kind of sucks. Also, Miss Mouse, is there anything in this area? Oh, yeah, I forgot about something. Well, first, I gotta get rid of these, these enemies. Oh, I did put on Fire Drive. Fog. Alright, let's just try a Love Slap. Did they fix, uh, did they fix the stylish problem with Miss Mouse, by the way? Oh, no! I am poisoned. I still can't get the super guard. Last for seven turns, good lord. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind having an extra, an extra one, you know? An extra Quake Hammer, you know what I mean? Is there an extra Quake Hammer in this game, anyway? Hey, we got a level up on our way there. Level up! I could go for some more FP, honestly. Yeah, there's a jam and jelly here. There's something nearby. What the hell? There's still another thing in this room? I think it's in one of those bushes, actually. And you know what? While I'm here, I am out of items. Fuck. Here are the mushroom. I'm gonna get a, um... Here are this too, actually. I'm gonna get a... some coconuts on the way back, too. Wait, do I have a... do I have a second fucking mango? Oh yeah, I don't need this second mango. <laughs> Let me get rid of that, too. There's something... Oh! Wait. There's something here. What? There's an in coupon there? Are you fucking kidding me? 
There's still something here. I think this. I think he's talking about the coconut now. Well, it says I missed something in the grotto, so. I'm gonna have to check that out. Coconut! Coconut again! Actually, I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be better to go to the grotto again when I have to do that trouble? Because there's that, there's that trouble with that guy that wants to meet in the grotto anyways, right? So maybe I should go back when I do that trouble. I just get the ring right now. That'll probably be for the better, honestly. Wow. Wedding ring! Taco Bell! You know what? I'll do that. I'll do that later then. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to the grotto to get that last star piece when I have to um, do the trouble. That's why I'm not too torn up about missing the star pieces. Or the singular star piece. It was in one of these bushes. I don't know, I, I think it's just something really simple, like a mini Mr. Mini or whatever. Oh, that's it. That's my ring. You found it. Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. We need to take the boat back to Oakport now. Don Pianta's is probably waiting for us. Thank God the fuzzies aren't here. You know what I'd love to see, actually? I would love to see someone take these graphics and backport them to the TT to the GameCube version. Okay, Mario. I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Roadport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on till we get there. Que pasa? You need to go back to Roadport? Muy bien, we are off. Cast off to Roadport. Whoop. Get to hear the nice, uh, the nice Cortez theme. That's a good detail. Takes a day to get there. We have to see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. No! Oh, that's all, but no, okay. You decide to go, don't you just yell? They made him even more Spanish, and that's one of the greatest things about this so far. Let's go see Don Pianta on the west side of town. Maybe he'll feel better after seeing Francesca and Frankie. Got some, I don't have much moon knee, I'm broke. Oh yeah, while I'm here, I'll, I'll go talk to Podly after then. It all lines up pretty great, honestly. Alright, let's take off the nostalgic tunes for a sec. I have a feeling there's gonna be cutscene music, and I wanna make sure I hear that. Daddy, 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 wake up, open your eyes. Boss. Ever since he left for the island, the boss's condition just kept getting worse. This is just awful, and after the two of them, you came all that way back, too. 
boss. Daddy, it's me, Francesca. Francesca. Daddy. Boss. Oh, my little Francesca. You came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you're ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two lovebirds. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you're the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? But boss, you still got it in ya? You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feel about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate. The way I did. Boss. You, Mario. Looks like you've done your nanny you're not a favor here, kid. No. Yeah. How about that, boss? Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful. I know it. What'd you guys do? Well, uh, we can't promise him something, boss. We told him we asked you about a ticket for the excess experience if you brought your daughter. Oh, is that all? Yeah, I mean, word for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many do you want? Ten? One? Two? Ten? Help yourself. Yeah, we got the train ticket. A ticket for the Red Sea train to Poshley Heights. You come back anytime you like, how about that? Whoa, yeah. Well, now that I'm tired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy? Boss. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You're the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Frankie, we got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bane, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will ya? Call me Francesca. Huh. Uh, 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. <laughs> On the boss? Uh, I mean, boss, you got a loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. Yay, we did it. Oops, wrong partner. Hmm. We're gonna support our brother. I mean, our new boss. Yeah, that's it. Frankie's nice, but you don't want to see him angry. He is called Furious Frankie. Once, hundred punks came over to Frankie when he was alone, and he ruined them. With Frankie around, ain't nothing to fear. He's why us Pianta stay in control. We owe you big, Mario. We always seem to be in your debt, you know. If there's ever anything the Pianta Senior can do for you, just say the word. Frankie and I are gonna keep the Pianta Family Syndicate together. And maybe we'll start our own family. Oh, what am I thinking? <laughs> That's Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. She's head over heels for Frankie. Seems like she got Frankie on a pretty short leash, but hey, they're happy, alright? That's Frankie, a member of the Piano Syndicate. He's a monster when he's angry. Everyone in Rogueport talks about him and Francesca's public displays of affection. Well, we did it. Now we can go to Poshley Heights. Awesome. Let's get that six crystal star as quick as we can. What do you say? <laughs> I heard that, my uglies!
So the six crystal star is in partially heights, is it? It's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Hey, build them. Normally this will be where I finally deal with you and that sappy traitor, Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to partially heights and get that crystal star before you do. Me. <laughs> Alright, that hag means it. We gotta get to Poshly Heights before she does. Click to Rogue Heart Station. Nah, we're gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> Anything else I can cook? I don't need the fucking in coupon, though. I know that for sure. Such a useless item, I swear. Alright, while well, I'm here, let's make a coconut bomb then. Alright, coconut and uh, fire flower. Let's make a coconut bomb. Unless, does this make anything different? Let me see the animation for this. That's all I can say. I'm not sure why, but this is what came out. Whoa. Go on, take it, zombie. Coconut bomb. Uh, is there anything else I can cook? Does anything happen if you cook a normal coconut, like, on its own? I don't know. Um... I don't know, actually. Well, apparently, you can cook a keel mango in a gradual syrup to get a fruit parfait. Huh. Interesting. Um, what else should I cook? Honey syrup and ice storm makes icicle pop. Might want to try that at some point too. Oh wait, I do have something I can do, can't I? Wait, no, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna use the jam and jelly. Hey, I got an idea. Let's do let's do a bit of cooking, shall we? I'm gonna withdraw something real quick. Let's try- let's get that Ultra Shroom back out. Yeah. Is there anything I can make with a Wacka Bump real quick? Uh, Wacka. Um... Wacka Bump on its own makes a Zest Special, apparently. And a Shroom Steak and Healthy Salad also makes a Zest Deluxe. Hold on, then. Let's store some stuff. Um, well, let's store the maple shroom and the shroom fry and the mega delight and the coconut bomb and the end coupon. There we go. Okay, let me pull out that shroom steak then. I didn't know you can do that. All right, where is my shroom steak at? There we go. All right, that should be good. Yeah, that'll be good. I didn't know that makes us the deluxe, but hey, we're gonna do that real quick. So cooking the cooking the whack a bump on its own makes that, huh? All right, let's do it then. Yum! Zest special. It's actually worse than the whack bomb which is kind of funny, but... You know what? It's just alright. Alright, so shroom steak and healthy salad apparently make a Zex, Zest Deluxe. This should have a unique animation. This should be a nice dish. Yeah, we got it. Zest Deluxe. Anything else I can make right now? Hmm. Oh, yeah, Jam and Jelly and Ultra Shroom. We'll make the Ultra. We'll make the Jelly Ultra the iconic item. Uh. 
Oh, it actually looks like he's hooking. <laughs> it wasn't really that obvious in the original. Jelly Ultra, yeah. I don't think I have any ice storms in storage, do I? So that definitely cleared out some inventory. Yeah, that's some good shit right there. Is there anything I can cook with a life shroom that I don't have yet? Let's see, life shroom. Life shroom and horsetail makes a uh, zest dinner. Okay, I'll do that then. Well, is there any better way I can make a zest dinner? I can use a super shroom and a horsetail. A super shroom and a gradual syrup also makes that. Okay, we can do that then. I've been looking for something to use my gradual syrup with, so yeah. Anything the dried bouquet makes, by the way. Um, dried bouquet. Uh, dried bouquet. And a... What else? Dried bouquet and trial stew makes a poison shroom. Just cooking the dried... Dry, cooking a dried bouquet with a healing item makes a space food. Okay. Let's try a dry shroom then. We'll give that a go. Also, I could almost buy a little Super Luigi, but whatever. <laughs> Bro, the fucking ads. Is this still chapter 5? No, I beat chapter 5 already. I'm doing a side quest now. I'm cooking. I'm cooking, man. Let me cook. Alright, so we're gonna use um, Super Shroom and Gradual Syrup. Gonna make a zest dinner. The ads are real today, huh? <laughs> zest dinner, there we go. Yum. And then let's use Dried Shroom and a Dried Bouquet. That might make spice food. Space food, maybe. Let's see if it does anything. Burp, burp. I think that worked. Yep, there we go. Space food! I think that's all I can make for now. Can the coconut cook with anything else? Well, I you know what? Yeah. Um let's get a let's get a um, let's get a cake mix. We can make a cocoa candy too. Man, Ah, get out of the way. Oh yeah, Don Pianta's here now. Hey, it's you again. It looks like we kinda owe you one. So yeah, thanks. That's Don Pianta, the former syndicate boss. He's retired now, but he's still a force. He must be here because he's all worried about Frankie and Francesca, huh? I mean, he's just worried that Francesca's cracking the whip on poor old Frankie. Okay, let's trade in my winnings for some cake mix. I also need to get refund. I think this might be the only place to get refund at, anyway. And super peel. There we go. Nice to have those badges, honestly. To be honest, I should probably just always have refund on. It'll save me some mini. Okay, let's make a cocoa candy. Cocoa candy's gotta be one of my favorite items, though. Because it's so niche, and yet also really helpful at the same time. Because it heals you for 3 HP, so it doesn't get you out of danger. Most of the time. And it heals 15 FP, which is really good. Now, if only there was one that healed, healed like, I don't know, maybe 1 HP and 10 FP. Why is the stream 5 hours? Because I'm not hungry yet. <laughs> I'm gonna stop stream once I get hungry, you know? Alright, 
So that, uh, that gives us quite a bit of recipes, actually. 21 out of 58, it's pretty damn good. Hmm. I don't know what else I could cook, honestly. Is there anything I can cook with the stuff that I have in my storage? Actually, I wonder if... Can Tasty Tonic be cooked with anything? Um, you can cook Tasty Tonic with hot sauce. Nah, so not really anything then. Okay. Apparently, Thunderbolt and Thunder Rage can make Trial Stew. I don't know. Yeah, actually, that's a good question. I wonder if that works. You broke your record of the longest stream then. No, my my longest record was last night. Six hours. Six and a half hours. That was my longest stream last night. Can the Turtley Leaf be used to make anything else? Let's see. Turtley Leaf. Um... I can cook a I can make a Koopa bun with a turtle leaf and a kill mango. Okay, it's not bad. Shroom broth. You can cook a turtle leaf and a slow shroom to get a shroom broth. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a good one. Okay, I might have to cook some of these. I need another. Do I have another mango in storage? I don't think I do. Oh, fug. You're gonna break it. Alright, dried shroom. Can dried shroom make anything interesting? I don't think so. Ice storm and maple syrup make zest frap. Hmm. No, dried shroom can't make anything. Meteor meal. If you cook a shroom fry with a shooting star... Okay... Mystic Egg and Mango Delight make a love pudding. <laughs> Interesting. Super Shroom and Jam and Jelly. I don't think I have that. I gotta cook an Ultra Shroom and a Honey Syrup. Like a Honey Ultra. Yeah, this game is addicting, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, this is a 100% this is playthrough, so, yeah. Alright, we're cooking these two together, then. We're gonna make a Honey Ultra. Yum. I think that's about all I can make for now, though. I mean, I did make quite a bit of recipes. Made 22 out of 58, so we're like... Yeah, I don't know. 40% there? Something like that. Okay. So let's listen to some of the uh, Chapter 5 music, because there's some there's some bangers in here. Like Flavio's theme. <laughs> Fucking badass song. Didn't really get to hear much of this song, so it's nice to hear more of it. I still can't believe Flavio has his own theme song now. stuff. And I'm glad they gave Bobbery his own sad song. Pretty nice. That's the traveling song. It's the spooky theme.
This is like an interesting remix of like the danger theme. Some good shit. <laughs> this fucking music. Heal Hall Key with Flavio. There's a separate version when you're with Flavio. Oh yeah. It has this fucking like kazoos in it. Aubrey's Emergency. Oh yeah, that song. Aubrey's also got a pretty damn good theme song. It actually makes me really happy they are giving all the partners theme songs again. Like, Jonathan had one in Paper Mario 64, for example. Actually, not, even, not a lot of the ones in PM64 had theme songs, though. But that is pretty cool. Let's listen, let's listen to fucking Cortez's theme again. goes crazy in this. Now this is how you do a fucking Paper Mario soundtrack. <laughs> if that's one thing I loved about T uh, Origami King, it was the fucking rock and roll soundtrack. This shit goes hard too, holy fuck. Makes me excited to hear Chapter 6's soundtrack too.
Yeah, I love this one too. You know, I haven't just heard the Chapter 5 battle theme yet in a while. Yeah, this is just a modern Paper Mario town and shit, I don't know what it is. Good. I think Cortez has to be one of the best, one of the biggest glow up battle themes of all time, honestly. The fucking guitar solo is amazing. Let me hear the original. Let me, let me hear the normal one. They also got a Lord Crumb battle team. I need to hear that too. I can't wait to see what people think when they fucking hear this fucking guitar shredding solo. <laughs> Let me hear the uh, Lord Crump battle theme. Ooh, this sounds good.
All right, well, that's some good ass music, man. I gotta say, this this game keeps surprising me with how amazing a soundtrack is. Maybe it's just because it's my taste or whatever, but like, good lord, I love it. Anyways, uh, hold on. Anyways, let's um go talk to Podley. Welcome to Polly's place, an intersection of human lives and drama, if you will. What's that you say? Hmm? What's it, Mario? Tell me, you look so serious. What? Eve? <laughs> so many dots. I know no such person. What? But perhaps you could tell this Eve person something. Tell her, live in the moment. And is that, is that all you need to know? Because I'm a little busy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, at least ignore all of that heartbreak. Oh, my Eve. Uh, I think it's because of this trouble and, um, Bobbery. People kind of think Podley's a dick. Which, I mean, I guess I can see where they're coming from. Wow. You guys say anything new, by the way? I think this- I think these guys don't get their te text updated. Man, every time I hear those fucking crows, I think there's actually crows outside my house. That's how, like, shitty I am when it comes to birds. That's not what I meant. Have you met with Podley? Really? What do you say? So Podley's forgotten about me? That's fine. I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. You know, I have these little ones to think of, so I have plenty to keep my mind busy. Mommy, I'm hungry! Food, food! Oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. I have some special dinners from Zesty's shop. Mario, you have one too. Yes! Thank you so much, Mario. You've breathed new life into this old girl's heart. Mommy? Why are you crying, Mom? Ah, oh, Mario, did you find out what you're looking for? Keep looking no matter where the road takes you. Never, never give up. But don't wear yourself out either. You must keep body and mind healthy. Feel free to visit any time. The children are always happy to see you, as I, as am I. Hey, Mario, you're back! Get after me! Alright. So there's a few things I'm gonna do this episode. Um, I am actually getting hungry now, so I guess we will end the, the, the stream soon enough. But for now, we're gonna do another trouble, and we're gonna find uh, one of the missing star piece panels that I forgore about. I think I have an idea where it is. Yeah. Okay, what does Frankly say now? Head for Posh to head Susie get a ticket from Don Pianta. Hang on, Mario. Don't let those people beat you there. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know what? I just realized something, actually. Regardless of what we do, we are gonna have to make multiple trips down the pit. Shit, I just, re yeah, I just realized that. Looking for a gal, Goom Goom. I'm pretty happy living out here on Kill Hole Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please come listen to my request. I'm deep in the grotto on Kill Hole Key. Let's take on Goom Goom's trouble. Well, you know what? We might actually have to take a... You might actually have to go to the pit this episode, because I wanted to save for post game when there's that there's that there's this one trouble that opens up during post game where you have to go to floor fifty, and I figured I might as well just do the trouble then. But since there's two troubles related with the pit, I'm gonna have to make two trips down there regardless. So what I'll do is I'll probably just go to the do the floor twenty, because one of them takes you down the floor twenty. 
And I might just do that one today. And then we can just see a little bit of the pit, get a glimpse on, like, what it's like, you know? Oops. So we might just do that, honestly. There's not really any easy way down the pit. Yeah, there's not really any wee easy way to get to the grotto and heal Hall of E. Oh god, now the fuzzies are back. Fuck. I was not excited. I'm not excited to see you guys again. Well, it looks like they don't despawn anymore. I guess that's good for them or whatever. Let's just get there a little bit quicker. I think these lucky that I love it so much that I don't mind putting up with not having a spin dash or quick way to move around. Oh, there's a heart block there now that wasn't there before. I have an idea where the star piece is. But I don't know. Oh, is it right here? Nope, that's a ruin powder. I didn't realize there was a rune powder there. That'll be useful for crafting later. Or <laughs> crafting. Recipe, you know. Oopsie. You know what? Let's turn on the let's turn on the old music again. Yeah, this room's done. Gotta get Josh out. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. Is it in this room? Nope. Okay. Bonk. Alright, your guys are going down. Oops. I still suck at that. They draw the tasty tonic. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Uh, is it by chance here? Four. Look at that bulky of bombs. Let them go. Yes. Oh yeah, he does six damage now. Yahoo. Um, it's not here. I think it is up there. I think there is a panel up there. Unless there's a panel down here. Let's see. Let's see what Miss Mouse has to say. Oh, there is a shadow, apparently. Or the Star Beast panel. Where? Where is this? Where? It says there's one right here. Where? What? <laughs> I'm I'm law. I'm confused. What she's looking? What she smells? It says there's one right here. 
weird. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? I was not expecting that. There was just an extra coin block that I could have hit. Weird. Ooh. Okay, I think it's in this room right here. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's a panel like right here. Yes. Leave me alone. Okay, we got all the star pieces in chapter 5 now. And I also gotta go to the grotto real quick. All right, let's uh, let's do let's do this the funny way. Hey, thanks for taking my trouble all the way out here. I know it's far. I came out here to enjoy island life, but now I'm here. I just feel lonely. There's no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm chatting up sea turtles here. So all I need to use is introduce a gal who's nice and chatty. That's it. Nice and chatty gal, okay? I guess my ideal match would be about my age, short like me and goomba shaped, also like me. Yeah, I guess I'm just trying my Goomba gal. I'll be perfect. You give me a Goomba hand. Hey, how's it going? Did you have to find a nice Goomba gal for? Whoa, that's one attractive shell. That makes you Koopa of some kind. I mean, I step up from sea turtles, but no. Remember what I told you? Introduce me a nice Goomba gal. Come on, I'm dying over here. Wow, I'm not feeling attractive right now. Hey, how's it going? Did you find a nice Goomba gal for? Whoa, that's a very glamorous gal indeed, but you're kind of floaty, and I'm groundbound for life. You're not even a Goomba. That's all wrong. <laughs> Th this is a really funny trouble. This one just gives you funny dialogue. <laughs> oh, hearties of all laughs. You had best get your eyes checked, young man. I am a prize. I think Yoshi has the funniest one. Whoa, hey, you're about my size, just like ass, but you're Yoshi. This is not what I asked for. Hey, take a long while for the short period, you bozo. Who'd date you anyway? <laughs> Bro is fucking savage. Love it. Whoa, you should seem nice, but uh, little goth shadow thing's a bit uh, creepy. There, I said it. You're too goth for me. You're not even a Goomba. You're not really doing much to impress me either, bud. Whoa, uh, very, um, what's wrong with you? Uh, there's some crush the old dude. Do I look like I date old bob Arms? It's all wrong. <laughs> well, you're hardly my type either, you young scallywag. Whoa, well, 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 this is a gal. Oh, yes, but you're sort of, uh, some rat. Close, but no Goomba. Hmm, I'd stay out of Dark Alley, at least for a little while, if I were you. <laughs> Alright, let's tattle him. That's Goom Boom, who asked us for help, remember? Looks like he's enjoying life here on Kill Hall Key, but he's a bit lonely. Whoa, yeah, wow, yeah, she's cute. Real cute. And that ponytail, man. Perfect. Slam dunk, man. Yeah, slam dunk. Now watch an eye work. I've got a foolproof opening line where I just confess my love right away. Uh, hey baby goom. You believe in love at first sight, Angel? Because you know I do, and... What are you trying to say? Just spit it out. I love you. I've, like, loved you since before either of us were born. Please, go out with me. Oh, uh, this is awkward. Sorry, I'm already going out with Mario here. Bad luck, pal. Me? Oh, what? You have a boyfriend? Oh, man. I've had enough of this. Peace. Sorry to play on your spot, Mario, but that's the fast way to get rid of a guy like that. Anyway, here, we still tell me help that guy with his trouble, so let's take this as a reward. 
Yeah, the cobbler's cake. Now let's get moving. I forget how you make the cobbler's cake, but yeah, we have that now, and we got all the star pieces, so. Yeah, let's have a look at the art gallery. Okay. Oh yeah, we have all of the, um, we have all of these. Yeah, look how many songs are just not in the game normally. Yeah, so many songs. The Fart Gallery. Let's take a look at Chapter 5. Alright. There's the ship. This Goomba really thinks he's butthead. <laughs> There's Nighttime. There's Keel Hall Key. You can even see, like, the x Not ship there. There's something really wrong with this Mario sprite. He looks so, like, soulless. He looks like he has no soul. He, he looks like he's seen some shit. Yeah, these places sure look nice. We have, um... We got the shit, the stage down there. The toad's freaking out. Bobbery's getting drunk. <laughs> There's, a. Uh, some concept art for ya. Ooh, now this place looks real nice. Look at that. We have, uh... The grotto. There's the boss fight. There's some more concept art. Mario zoned out. There's Cortez. Here's these annoying-ass rooms. Although they really do look nice with all that improved lighting. We got, uh, we got some concept art. This makes it look more like, you know, a volcano or something. There's Mario just on the shore. Unused uh, ideas, I guess. Mario going into the grotto. We got the shop and stuff here. A pirate ship. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, there's that. There's the unused, um, Bobbery design. It's real, you guys. Bobber used to be like a, a soldier or whatever. They have some actual official concept art too. Uh, he was also originally gonna be... Where the fuck these were supposed to be? He was supposed to be a jester at one point. He was gonna be a woman. He was gonna have a beret. I'm not gonna lie, I think I like the idea of Bobber with a beret. Apparently Flavia was meant to be a toad at one point. That's fucking cursed as hell. Here's old, here's old uh, Flavio. He used to be more, I don't know. His skin used to be like just normal. He didn't have yellow skin and he had a, just a normal ass red pirate outfit. The toes look pretty normal though. The patch used to just be blue instead of purple. Some good, I, I like the concept art. The concept art is pretty awesome. Yeah. Don't really have much else to say, but I love the I love the concept art of Flavory and all that, and the fact that Flavio was supposed to be a toad is really cursed to me, and I can't seem to get that out of my head now. Yeah, so that's that. Let's head back to Rogueport. Also, I really love this. This, like, skull spitting out water. That's real nice. So I think the easiest way to get out would be to do this. Pirate's Grotto. <laughs> You're gonna screenshot it and spam it? Oh god. <laughs> Flavio is perfection. I'm glad he wasn't a toad, otherwise he wouldn't have been that unique. I mean, he's one of- he's literally one of the best NPCs in the entire series. Oh lordy. Yeah, I feel like the spring in Kill Hulk, he just needs to go a little bit higher, you know? He doesn't go that high. Alright, well, let's leave then. Vominos. 
Okay, well, let's go back to Rogue for it then. I've done all the troubles that I want to do, except for the one that requires the pit. But, uh, I might do that some other time. Yeah. Four. You know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna dip, honestly. Bye. <laughs> Later, losers. alley -oop. Uh, yeah, there's three chapters left. There's chapter 6, chapter 7, and chapter 8, which is the Palace of Shadow. Chapter 8 is gonna be pretty long, so that might be a two-parter again. Anyways, uh, let's go see... Let's go say hi to Prince Mush. That's gonna be brand new to me. We're gonna see how this goes, because I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Yo, 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 Great Gonzalez, hey, you throwing your hat back in the fighting ring. Your comeback's like a robot convention. Are you an android or a cyborg? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, Flash, Flash, Flash. Hey, who are you, anyway? Look at the Glitz Pit. Welcome back, Mr. Gonzalez. I knew you'd come back. Look at the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? That's it. No more delaying. If you win this match, I'll tell him how I feel. I can't keep sighing every time I think of him. I can't. Do your best to win. Oh yeah, Toodles is gone, by the way. She's gonna be in Chapter 6. That's gonna be fun. Hey, Masashi's back! Welcome back! Yay! You're back! You're back! Good old Wii! I could just collapse with joy! I'm gonna save first. Oh, there he is! Dude, he's at- he, he's real! He's real, guys! I need to tattle him. That's Prince Mush. He's Jolene's younger brother. Dude, I gotta fucking send this to Zack. Holy shit. Does the voice mod only work for you, or can it work for others? Um... It works. It, you can hear it. You'll be able to hear it if I start using it, because it, it affects my actual mic. So, yeah. <laughs> Gonna fuck around with that, probably. Poor guy's been through a lot, so it's great that he's able to return to the ring like this. He's all set for the exhibition match. I bet he's a tough opponent, so be ready for a doozy of a fight. Mario, my friend, you came! Thanks to you, I've been able to thrill my fans once again as Prince Mush. I'd love to show you my appreciation by fighting you. If you're up for it, just enter my exhibition match. Dude, this feels so fucking surreal that he's finally real, dude. I can't believe it. You know... Let me talk about this real quick. For 20 long years, right? I mean, not 20, more like 15 or 16. Dude, i just been wondering, like, how cool would it be if you were able to go back to the pit and fight Prince Mush after you rescue him? And look at Intelligent Systems making my 16-year-old wish become reality. They, they, those fucking mad lads, they did it. What's up, man? Good to see- finally see you again for real! Me? I- I'm retired. Let's rock this joint. Gonzalez is back! Boom! It's an honor to bomb- BOOM! Fight in the same arena again. Ah, mustache better than Kleftor when Kleftor was mustache's age. Hey, how are you, Gonzalez? You looking pretty good. Glad to see it. Ah, it's good to see all my old friends again. Alright, let's see if we can- let's try and fight him, then. Alright, exhibition match. 
Is he the champ now? Oh no, he's the only one I can fight right now. Would you like an exhibition match against Prince Mush? Yes. Your exhibition match has been registered. Please wait in the locker room. Wait in the locker room? Oh! <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. This guy's let's play security. Oh, again. Okay. Thumbs up! This is gonna be interesting. It's time for today's main event. We're in for a beautiful brawl. Here before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush. Once all is said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? Let's get our star gladiators out here. First, making his triumphant return to the Glitz Pit, it's the Great Gonzalez! Yes! It's a me! You rock man, Gonzalez, he's back! You the man! What an entrance! The crowd is going to wet wild for Gonzalez, our third champion! And standing opposite, our newest champion, is the first ever fighter to bear the title! That's right, folks! Back in action, and better than ever, ready up for the royal return to the ring. Give it up for Prince Mash! Woo! Prince Mash, your first champion, dude. Don't lose to Gonzalez. Two champions, face to face at last. The excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak. It's time to ring the starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of the Glitz Pit for eternity. Get ready to brawl! Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we've got. Oh, I gotta listen to this shit. Dude, he's ready to throw, holy shit. Let's see what he has. That's Prince Mush, the original champion of Glitz Pit. He's finally making his comeback. He has six defense? What the fuck? He's got a max HP of 96, an attack of six, and a defense of six. What the fuck? He has- what the fuck? Dude. He has the most defense now out of any enemy in the game. You'd never guess that he was kept away from fighting for such a long time. He's still a powerhouse. What the actual shit? This is insane. He's known for being a clean fighter, so he'll come straight at you without relying on dirty tricks. He's also known to switch between different battle styles. Just keep an eye on his stance. When he changes it up, we'll have to think fast and come up with a good attack method. And if you're not sure, you'll come out on top. Just try to rely, try to rely on super guards. I also heard he's not a fan of cake. What's the story there, huh? Some cake-based trauma in his past? Fucking music slaps. Good job, Jose. Whatever, if you can manage to beat this guy, you'll become the true unrivaled champion. Yeah, this guy is... This guy it really is super boss status. Holy shit. All right, well, have all these items, so let's start off with a power lift. No, no, Jose, I'm fighting a, I'm fighting a new super boss added to this remake. Okay, that's not bad. We'll see what he does. Prince watch his stance has changed. Oh, dude, I first try super guard away. All right. Mark and I attack, attack, act an additional turn.
Holy fuck. I guess he lowered his guard because I got a super guard. Or super- yeah, that's probably what happened there. Holy shit, he's going Super Saiyan! Dude, this guy's like the fucking master from, uh, this is the first game. I love it. Oh, this, did, did they make it harder? Did they make it harder to get extra, um, what do you call it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Either way, let's go. He's got his defense back. Stance changed again. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit! I was not expecting him to attack that many times. That was insane. Okay, um, double dip maybe. You know what? Let's do some danger strats. Yeah! And, um, I don't know, honestly. I guess use the moose cake. Yes! Alright, here we go. Let's see how much this does. What? He dodged me, dude. Can I hit him with Quake? Yeah, it looks like I can. Here, let's use the Meteor Meal. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, I'm in danger now, though, so let's see. Well, he's in like a guarding stance now. Oh, yeah, they are making the rally link harder. There's not really a whole else I can do. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get me out of danger, buddy. Alright, power lift. Yeah, plus four, baby. Let's go. He's ready. Okay. Oh, I'm not in danger anymore, shit. Yeah, he dodges when you do that. Alright, let's quake then. Or completely miss the quake. Oh, he, he's going Super Saiyan. A fiery spirit. Yeah, let's go! I got the Super Guard! Oops. No, I'm out of FP, fuck. Alright, um, let's use the cocoa candy then. This is one of the most awesome things about this remake so far. Oh no, Goombella! 
He is charging up so goddamn much. I can't even damage him now. What the fuck? Oh my god. I am actually dead. Wow. Thank you for the match. Now that was fucking awesome. Holy shit. He's tough. He's fucking tough. Holy crap. I got my ass kicked. Wow. I'm not sure how I'm gonna be- I'm gonna have to- I might have to fight him later. As real tempting as it is to try and beat him right now. Holy shit, that was amazing. That might- that- that- that settles it. This is better than the original in every way. I don't care. The fact they added Prince Mush as a super boss is amazing. I might need more power badges, honestly. Well, I don't need item hog right now or flower. I could have had more power, I guess. Fire drive would be good for that fight. It's a fierce defense. Hmm. I need like buffing badges and stuff. I need tri you know what I need? You know what I need? I need triple dip. That's what I need. Yeah. I might fight him after the next chapter, then. How about that? <laughs> I'm not doing good, though. Yeah. Alright, last thing we'll do for this episode is we'll do the pit. We're gonna do a little bit of the pit. The first 20 floors. We're gonna also get Sleepy Stomp and a second Fire Drive, which is nice, so... I won't complain about that. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm fully healed already. Yeah, and I mean, besides, once I'm done with that anyways, I kind of want to go make some wraps. Be a good way to, you know, end off my night. And I think that'll also... That also mean I'm caught up on troubles after this. Yeah, help my daddy. Hey, you see my dad? I'll be waiting at the entrance of the pit of 100 trials. If you help me, I'll give you my treasure as a reward. A member's card for the Pianta Parlor. I do like that they tell you, like, hey, I'll give you a card if you do it. That way you can figure out which ones actually have it. I know. If you do this one, you get the paper game. If you do Frankie's, you get the the tube game. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the um, what you call it? I'm trying to remember. I don't actually remember which one gives you the the boat game. I just know that's a thing. I guess I, I guess later I'll get to hear about Jose's thoughts on uh, engage, huh? Feels nice to have Rally Wink finally, though. Holy shit! Like if, I'm sure if I thought of a great strategy, I could beat Prince Mush right now. And I, that was with Rally Wing strats, too. It's a lot harder without it. But yeah. Let me, uh... Let's tag off Nostalgic Tunes. Um, let's put on... Uh, let's put Flower Finder back on and Item Hog. That'll be fun. Alright. I guess we are going to do a bit of, pit, of the pit after all. That's Pine T Jr. who asked us to find his dad. Hey, guy. You took on my travel? Oh, thank the stars. This is just terrible. My dad went to the pit of haunted trials and he never came out. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pit's treasure. 
I don't need treasure. I just want my dad back. Please help him. Wow. Alright, guys. Let's do the pit. Woo! Holy shit. This remix... New enemy, though. That's a Gloomba. It likes dark, damp places. Is this the, uh, Hooktail Castle, um, remix? It's stronger than a normal Goomba, so be careful. That's not a healthy color for a Goomba, but it doesn't mean it's sick or anything. It doesn't show any mercy. Mm -hmm. Ow. Goombella's gonna go be the go-to for these fights, though, because she's so strong. Yay, I got two star points! Never mind, yeah, I got two star points. It's fucking terrible. Wait, you get a clear bonus for doing these floors? Ooh, I think they made the pit even better, dude. I feel like the pit's gonna take way longer in this version of the game, though. Just because of the nature of the game. Especially if there's gonna be a clear bonus after all of these. Hey, I mean, it's a good way to get Moony, you know? I won't need the honey syrup, though, let's be honest. I got those might take a little while actually. Wahoo! Wow, it healed the Gloomba. I mean, why would we- why would I need a clear bonus anyway when the enemies drop coins anyways? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Honestly, the pit might have to be one stream because of how fucking long it's going to take. Yeah, heal the Galoomba again. It is good to be back in the pit, though, for real. Can't wait to do this thing for real, though, once we beat, uh... That's why I do want to save it for the post-game, though. Because I know how, like, tricky... I know how, like... Well, one, I know it's gonna take a long time. Two, I want to react to all the enemies in their in their proper chapters and not just see them all here. You know, just be like, hey, there's a dark wizard, there's the cross prana. You know what I mean? That's pretty much all I wanted to say regarding that. We got a fright mask. You know what? Uh, I was gonna put on fire drive, but I guess I can wait, huh? This is gonna take so fucking long, dude. Yeah. 
I wish you could, like, skip these, you know? I do like that the pit, like, holds up, though. Instead of just, like, popping out of the ground, you know what I mean? Hey, look, I'm pretty lucky. You know what, then? Let's... No, I want that. I miss being able to act out of the, uh, the items. Alright, Miss Mouse. Your time to shine has finally come. Oh, fuck, I messed up. I didn't feel anything. There we go. Yeet, that's mine now. Thank yous. Gonna be seeing that clear bonus a lot, for real. Does that mean they made Charlie more expensive? Good question. Hey, what's up? Look at me, sir. Look at me trying super god. Boom. I do think they did a good job with the background, though. The background looks pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Very expensive. I mean, honestly, Quake Hammer just wins all these fights. Bow, bow. <laughs> the Chaos Emeralds are gone. Oh no! Our Chaos Emeralds! It's broken! Alright, first big chest. This is the pit of hundred trials, but I don't see any enemies in this room. At least there's a pipe to take us back to the entrance if you want to bail. Then again, we have to fight our way back down to this level again. Better thing before bigger faith better thing through before we do anything hasty, you know what I mean? Sleep stomp. So now we have um Now we have all the jump badges and all the hammer badges. The adult at P Hammer Man. Whoa, whatever the fuck this is. Um, and some other things. I actually don't know what this could be. Well, we know these are the PFD down badges. But what comes after Power Plus? I forgot. Hmm. Good question. I don't know. Ramp. This is the pit of one child. The step pipe just seems to lay down forever. See, the air seems kind of fresh here. I guess it's flowing down from above, huh? Well, I forgot the tattle, but whatever. Oh yeah, Goombella can just kill it.
Maybe it is finally time I put on fire drive. Hmm. But what do I even take off? I guess I don't need ice power anymore or item hog. Yeah, we'll put on fire drive. Fire drive could be fun. There we go. Oh, this loadout is pretty annoying. You know what? Let's just put on the original music for the giggles. Alright, let's try fire drive. Some good damage. Really quick, I want to test something. I'm going to take off the Delium just for one battle. That's a Paragloom, but it's a Gloom with wings. It's like a stronger version of Paragloom, but maybe that's all there is to it. I wonder if living down here makes its wings moldy. Ugh, that's too gross to even think about. Ugh. So okay, I guess I'll t I guess I'll spill the beans. I I tr I was supposed to have a mod that makes Mario flip you off every time you do a battle, and I don't think it works. <laughs> it's really funny though. I wish I had. I wish I got that to work. Well, I was gonna see if this if the Piter trick still worked. I cannot get an extra turn. Why am I not getting the stylish for that? <laughs> You're exhausted? I'm also exhausted. I'm probably gonna end stream soon. Once I finish the pit. Also, I broke my record again, by the way, on longest stream. <laughs> I broke my record again, dude. This is about to be a seven hour long stream at this rate. Rare, so many shy guys in the audience. I mean, this is my favorite game after all. I will gladly stream it for seven, eight hours. I'd stream it for longer if hunger wasn't a thing. Uh, 
Yeah, I can't get multi bomb for shit in this game. Yeah. You finish to engage, and you're surprised that your opinion changed. Hmm, I bet. At least I got a 10 coin bonus. What floor is this? 17. Hmm. I think the coin thing will increase as time goes on. Oh, there he is. That's Pine T Senior, the Toad. He's the father of Pine T Junior, who asks to help him out. We gotta help Pine T Senior quickly for his son's sake. Bonk. Wake up. There's a beaten up me lying on the ground. Oh, what? Who are you? What? Wow, did you come here just to save me? Really? Pine T Junior did? Well, in that case, I have to get back to him alive. Show me the way out. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Lily hides. Don't mind me, just beat him. Alright, come over here. Ooh. to bonk everybody for the past few chapters. Hey, the exit! Okay, Pine Teen Junior, I'm on my way home. Let's get a second fire drive. And then we're good on the pit for now. That's enough pit for one day. Woohoo! My dad's back! Sorry for troubling you. I guess health and family really are the most important things. You know? I'll look for new work. I gotta find- I gotta be strong for my dear son. Thank you so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing more important than my dad, so here. Silver card! A member's card that lets you play the paper mode game. Now if you'll excuse us, and really, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You solved the trouble. Alright. Oh, I think that does it for today's stream. Jesus Christ. Seven hour- almost a seven hour long stream? Man. <laughs> I sure know how to have fun with this game, don't I? I don't think I'm ever gonna stream this long ever again. Unless I somehow find myself getting into one of those 24 hour charity stream, uh, sort of deals. I think that's it for me to- I think that's all I can do for today, though. And I think I have an- oh. Um, I do have money now. You know what? Let's buy Timing Tutor. About time. And you know what? I'll also buy, um, the Repel Cape. There you go. Get that out of here.
I mean, tutor cost one BP aware. Is that one of the, is that what the missing badge is? Where does that fit in anyway? Oh, it's here at the bottom here. It's like the quick change. What the fuck is right next to power plus P then? I don't get it. I don't know what badge that is. And I guess now we won't know. <laughs> Alright, let's sell. Well, you know what? Let's sell, um, the Honey Ultra. Sell that. Sell the Jelly Ultra, too. That'd give me a bunch of money. Sell the couple. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sell the Honey Syrup. Um, sell the Zest Deluxe. Sell the couple's cake. Sell the rappel cake. And I'll put the... I'll put this... The ruin powder in storage. There we go. Should be good. Okay, there we go. We got 35 points now. 50 for a Thunder Rage. I'm curious if the Thunder Rage Thunderbolt strategy works, though. Okay, before I end the stream, I'm gonna buy a few more badges to fill up my badge log. And then I'll go stay in front of the XS Express. And we should be good, honestly. We've finished all the troubles, we've read all the secret dialogue. Uh, what badges am I missing from this list? Doldit P? Is Doldit P in here? Super Peel is. FP Drain. I guess FP Drain is new. Yeah, I'll buy that, I guess. And Close Call P, since I can afford it. Even though, yes, I do get a Close Call P later in Chapter 6, but whatever. Fuck it, I'm buying it now. You can't stop me. There we go. I'm broke again. <laughs> Because they made all this sh everything more expensive in this game, but it's all perfectly balanced, though. Guess what you, you found? Sure. It's almost 6 p.m. and I haven't had any food yet. You found um. Hmm. What is this? This is, uh... Is that... Is that who... Who is that? Is that... Is that Ivy? <laughs> What's she doing there? Oh. Anyway, I think that'll be it for today's stream. Thank you guys for watching TTYD Remake. I don't know why Ivy's there, but we almost streamed for seven hours. Holy fuck. New record. Uh, I broke my record in one day. Okay. Anyways, I love this game so much, and I can't wait to play more of it. I might play more of it, um... I might play more of it later tonight. Um... Give me, like, maybe an hour or so. I'm gonna have lunch, and... Well, I guess now be dinner, since it's, like, almost 6 p.m. for me. I'm gonna have dinner, and then I'll be back. We'll do chapter 6 as well. But I am really hungry. I want to go have something to eat. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, so bye!